Let me just read this from, there were two things that caught my eye about uh, Boston. One was uh, from Patton Oswald, actually. And um, the comedian, Boston, he writes, Boston, fucking horrible. I remember when 9-11 went down, my reaction was, well, I've had it with humanity, but I was wrong. I don't know what's going to be revealed to be behind all this mayhem, one human insect or a poisonous mass of broken sociopaths. But here's what I do know. If it's one person or a hundred people, that number is not even a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the population on this planet. You watch the videos of the carnage and there are people running towards the destruction to help out. Thanks, fake gallery founder and owner, Paul Kozlowski, who happens to be one of my old buddies from Boston, for pointing this out to me. And that's me saying... This is a giant planet. We're lucky to live on it, but there are prices and penalties incurred for the daily miracle of existence. One of them is every once in a while, the wiring of a tiny sliver of the species gets snarled and they're pointed towards darkness. But the vast majority stands against that darkness, and like all white blood cells attacking a virus, they dilute and weaken and eventually wash away the evildoers and, more importantly, the damage they wreak. This is beyond religion or creed or nation. We would not be here if humanity were inherently evil, we have eaten ourselves alive. We would have eaten ourselves alive long ago. So when you spot violence or bigotry or intolerance or fear or just garden, garden variety, misogyny, hatred, or ignorance, just looking in the eye and, and think the good outnumber you and we always will. I mean, I think the sentiment is nice, and I think to a certain extent we need to be a little bit more active uh, in fighting against this and also fighting against our reaction. Uh, but uh, hopefully that sentiment goes away in doing that. 